There are different challenges when dealing with hard cataracts. I prefer to use hybrid chopping technique for these cases. In this video, I will share with you my tips to safely manage these cases and to minimize the risk of intraoperative uh, complications. Vision Blue is used to stain the anterior capsule. It's important in these cases to make a good sized capsular excess at least 5.5 mm. Really essential to avoid small capsular excess as it will make nuclear chopping more challenging. Uh, then gentle hydro dissection is performed. In these cases you can see the wave, so it's advisable to minimize any stress on the posterior capsule and to make sure that the nucleus is freely rotated. This is followed by injecting some dispersive viscoelastic to protect the corneal uh, endothelium. For dividing the nucleus, I prefer to use hybrid chopping. I start on sculpted mode and make few buzzes in the nucleus till I reach about two thirds of the nucleus till I make sure that I have a good grip of the nucleus. Then I change to high vacuum mode and horizontal chopping is effectively done. This hyper chopping technique is usually effective in dividing the nucleus. Also there is a good control of the chopping force. It has the advantage to minimize uh, any stress on the zonules. Also, there is a minimal chance to have any undivided uh, posterior nuclear chip, which is sometimes encountered when only horizontal or vertical shoppings are attempted. Then I make two or three further chops of the nucleus, and once I have three quadrants, I start emulsifying them. This helps to create more space and minimize any stress on the zonules with uh, further uh, chops. Then the nucleus is further divided into smaller fragments, which can be effectively emulsified. I try to keep the FACO tip on the central 4mm safety zone, and the vacuum will bring the quadrants to the uh, FACO tip. For emulsifying the last fragment, I remove the second instrument to minimize any leak from the side port. This usually allows for better stability of the anterior chamber and minimize any risk of posterior capsular uh, tear. Then, before taking the phaco tip out, look for any hidden nuclear fragment which may be occasionally trapped at the angles or below the side port. They can be just pushed toward the phaco tip. Moving to irrigation and aspiration. In these dense cataracts, there is usually only little cortical matter left. However, they are occasionally adherent to the posterior capsule and require meticulous removal. This silicon soft tip irrigation aspiration is very efficient and also gentle on the uh, posterior capsule. I try to remove as much as I can from any residual cortical fibers and I polish the posterior capsule under low vacuum uh, sitting. Then the lens is implanted in the back. I leave it to unfold for a few seconds, then rotate it about 90 to 180 degrees to allow for easy access of the soft tip irrigation aspiration behind the lens. This is followed by complete removal of the viscoelastic behind the lens and from the anterior chamber. Then the wounds are hydrated and intracameral antibiotic is injected and the surgery is concluded. Thank you.